Hey everybody, this is Brad Dyke saying hi. Uh, I was doing this video because I was going to talk about uh, the strategy of going ahead and looking at mini PCs, um, using them as a form of clustering technology, and to develop something that's a, a better solution than a Raspberry Pi, but by repurposing mini PCs, um, such as the following, this 7040 Dell micro PC is a, an example of that. As you can see, it's basically a standard workstation uh, in a very reduced format. And this format allows you to keep your overall um, containment and function in a very small form factor footprint. And it's very well contained, that's when I said containment. And as you can see here, this unit is missing its power its uh, cooling process that's okay I did that on purpose and it also has a gutted SATA disk drive which is an SSD disk drive and what I did is I cheated I took the guts of a 2.5 inch SSD 128 gig capacity unit which was already out of warranty and I popped it out of its container so that I could cheat smaller in this case is better and as you can see down here there's the GPU there's the onboard set there's the memory there's the wireless here's the i5 processor 6500 and uh, now this unfortunately this unit needs some help and then, so I'm gonna work at cleaning this up but what I'm gonna basically do with this as you can see its size is the equivalency of roughly a 4U in a server rack setup. So 10 of these could very easily and very effectively be side by side in this format. One here, one here, one here, one here, and here. Going all the way across the rack enclosure of a 4U footprint about this high, going all the way across. Now that's 10 7040s with quad processors which is eight hyperthread stacks. So that's 40 quad with 80 hyperthreads. And I'm doing it in less power consumption than when I look at my quad down here with 24 processors on stack. So that guy runs almost 2,500 watts on full load, and I cannot really truly run it uh, without being you know tapping into the other circuit over here on this other rack over here so that I could get it and a few servers running side by side so the thought is hey what if I start strategizing repurposing these chassis uh, they're in tin style uh, casing which means that it's not gonna be too difficult to cut them up and shape them the way I want and then maybe make the airflow a little better than it is now uh, and promote more air circulation so that I can run these guys a little cooler. Uh, miniaturize as much as possible so I can maybe put a heat sink on this GPU, reach in and use that GPU as well as the CPU, and now I've got both the GPU resource pool and I've got a CPU resource pool that can get me what I want. But before I can do any of that, I wanted to show you this format and I got the hint but everybody wants to see this happen, so I'm gonna do that. So I first have got to clean this guy up. He needs some serious help, and I've got more coming. I don't have enough money to buy 10 of them, but I should be able to get close to five, and because I still gotta buy more stuff, and I'm doing this all out of pocket. Um, anybody has any old Dell 740s, 7040s, 6500 i5s, uh, please ship in my direction. I'll, I'll reach out, and you can talk, and all that good stuff. See if we can't make this thing happen. So with this and some metal framing and some some one U, well, I don't know, maybe a three U footprint um, shelving. And of course, a back shelf for you know handling the power supplies because these power supplies would be kind of numerous. Um, but the overall goal would be, can this do the job we want it to do? Um, there are of course some things we won't be using, such as the wireless interface and a couple of the other sub-functions. But I think this is gonna be something that will be worthwhile to try out and see if we can do this. So, with that being said, 
I wanted to make a short little video on this to talk to you guys to let you know I'm going to move forward with this. I'll let you know how it goes. I have not selected the Linux environment yet that will run the cluster mode. I have not decided if what if it's going to be a GUI interface for overall resourcing, so for like Proxima, Proxmox or whatever flavor we would put on this. I don't know yet. Uh, i got to figure that out coming to the next step. But at that point stage, remember what I'm doing here is I'm destroying equipment. I am repurposing, you know, out of warranty SSD drives. If you choose to do that, please understand that, um, you know, you're ruining your own equipment. I'm not endorsing you do that. Uh, I can do it because I'm not afraid of, you know, stuff I've used to death and SSD drives have a shelf life. So I'm okay with, you know, tearing it apart a little bit here and there and so on. So, with that being said, I'm going to say goodbye, and um, Christmas is coming, so this is my Christmas present to everybody. This will probably take about, I'd say, a month or two more to get all the preliminaries in place and all the right components and build out a deployable image that would work and, um, you know, get us to a good point. So, uh, I want to say God bless. Have a great time. I'm sure I, this is just a short little seven-minute video that should give you everything you need to know about what I'm going to do for the next steps. I'm going to be doing another video and it's going to be talking about how to scale TrueNAS arrays from test drives to quantity drives. And then I'll show you how you can do that and get where you need to be. So take care and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.